everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing the October Owl Crate. I know I'm behind. I got them literally the day I went out of town last month. So I'm behind on unboxing them and all that good stuff. But let's do this Owl Crate box. But before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on all the social media so you can see better pictures of these items to come. Um, as usual, I don't remember what this the theme for the October box was, but I do remember looking at other people's pictures on Instagram, and I saw that we get two books this month, so I'm super excited about that, and one of them I'm even more excited for. So here is the artwork card. Mine has puncture holes in it. Mine's broken. And the October theme is Lost in the Bookstore. Um, as always, I'm going to read the spoiler card first and then get into the book. It says, if you've been on the hunt for the perfect tea for fall, for fall slash winter, look no, I can't see this. I'm sorry. It's dark in here. It doesn't look like it in the camera, but it's, it's dark in here. So give me a moment while I read this card. If you've been on the hunt for the perfect fall slash winter, look no further. This delicious choco mint truffle tea from the tea spot is soothing and yummy. Perfect for a chilly evening. Use your super cute exclusive tea strainer when you brew up your tea. Team Owl Crate created this silicone heart shaped strainer just for you with the help of designer Michelle Gray. Time to get cozy, wear your awesome exclusive book nerd socks and show off your reader pride made by our friends at Out of Print and Underlined. Take your canvas clutch purse with you the next time you're on a trip to the bookstore. We created this pouch so that I was big enough to fit most small books so you can protect your read on the go. Exclusively designed by the lovely Bookworm Boutique. What would, what would the mirror of, why can I pronounce this? I never was good at pronouncing. The mirror of Erezeds, it's pretty sure it's from Harry Potter. Reflection show if you gazed into it. We have a feeling that many of us would be piles of books and a letter to Hogwarts. Michelle Gray illustrated this adorable exclusive art print. So now for the non-secret book, but the book that I can't wait to have. It says, Zarai has grown up in Brooklyn and she has a lot of pride for where she's from. Lately though, she can't help but feel the ramifications that gentrification is having on the neighborhood she knows and loves. When a wealthy family moves in next door, Zuri wants nothing to do with their two teenage sons. But when her older sister starts to fall for one of the boys, Ziri works on finding common ground with them. And her initial judgments begin to shift. Pride by Evie, Evie Zavoy is a Pride and Prejudice retelling we've been waiting for. We hope you love this exclusive signed edition, which comes with a letter from the author and a matching bookmark. So I'm going to leave the surprise book for later. But let's get started. I'm going to turn this off now because it ruins my life. So first up are our socks. Book Nerd Socks by Underlined and Out of Print. They are unisex socks. They fit a US women's shoe size five and a half to nine. So I just make it in there with a nine and I'm pretty sure I'm not the top end of average, so might want to go a little bit larger on your socks and men's shoe size five to eight and a half even though there are men readers out there that's a pretty small sock size for men so we might want to go instead of a small maybe a medium bigger socks are better than smaller socks next time but let's see I'm trying to get them open let's see they're gonna be snug on my feet dang so you, I can unfold them struggles. Boom. So our bookish socks and traditional owl out of print colors and they say book on the heel. Nice. Those are going to be comfy. I might even be able to wear them to work because they're black. <laughs> Choco mint truffle tea. Black tea peppermint chocolate flavoring. And you've got a promo code if you would like more. 
by the tea spot. Loverly and our strainer or diffuser. Should fit in any tall mug too because the handle is so tall. So that's fantastic. Our monthly pin to go with the artwork, which of course will go on my quilt. Oh, I'm too far away, sorry. There you go. <laughs> Our art print. Ooh, before we get to pride, here is our, ooh, this is cute. It is a clutch, a canvas clutch. It says, books are uniquely portable magic. Now this is cute, I like this. Looks like you could probably fit an iPad mini, a Kindle, maybe, I don't know if you can really fit a paper, a small paperback book in it. You have to be like really small. But you could definitely fit some useful things in here. I like useful items in these boxes. So, this is Pride. Before we get to the book book, here is Pride. I'm so excited for it. Can't wait to tell my friends over at the Weekend Reader that I got it. Cause I know it was part of her um, book club book. I honestly am not sure if I've ever read Pride and Prejudice before. I'm not sure. Which Which story has Heathcliff in it? Someone just tell me that answer. I've read that one. Uh, we've got a letter from the author. Dear reader, welcome to Bushwick. I loved writing this sweet story set in the neighborhood I grew, in, grew up in. It's filled with love, laughter, hopes, and dreams. In the heart of it all is Zuri Bene Benitez, a girl caught between the community she loves and the boy who challenged her ideas about him, herself, and the world. This Pride and Prejudice remix has a beat of its own, but the rhythm is familiar. So step into these pages as if they're a big block party and enjoy. From, Bo from Brooklyn, Evie's a boy. Beautiful. Okay, now on to the actual book. Hopefully I can read it because I don't want to turn the light again. It says, at the end of the millennium, whoever holds the ancient scroll will be granted one wish from the great Kami dragon. You may go, you may go a kitsune shape, shape, I can't read, I can't speak. You may go a kitsune shape shifter loves everything when a demon destroys the temple she calls home. When she uh, loses everything, I can, I'm telling, it's the dark, it's just how dark it is. And the font's not very big, so I'm just having a hard time reading it. I'm sorry. Um, loses everything when a demon destroys the temple she calls home, as well as everyone she's ever known. She escapes with a piece of the treasured scroll and embarks on a quest to find the other missing pieces. Fate throws her into the path of Sasumi, a demon-slaying shadow warrior. Say that five times fast. Slaying shadow, demon-slaying shadow warrior. Demon-slaying shadow warrior. I mean, there's enough consonants, but like, whoo. It's hard. Whose only mission is to find the squirrel and kill anyone who stands in his way. Shadow of the Fox is filled with incredible world building, Japanese folklore and culture, and the most unforgettable characters. This is also an exclusive signed edition which comes with a letter from author Juliet Kagawa and a matching bookmark. Happy reading and thanks for being awesome. Awesome! Because that sounds like um, A Smoke in the Mist um, by Renee Audier. Well, not like just like it, but you know. Um, strong female character, gotta save the world, do what needs to be done type of thing. Um, really excited about that, that actually sounds really good. And this cover isn't too bad either. You take that out the plastic, you get the full grandeur of it. What, what, what? Look at this. Look, ooh, it's shiny. Beautiful, Shadow of the Fox. 
Let's see, the author letter says, Dear reader, welcome to the land of Iwagato. Prepare to be swept away in a tale of adventure, heavily flavored by my favorite myths from Japan. S Samurai, Shinobi, Kitsune, Oni, and more all lurk within these pages. I think it's Oni, actually. Oni and more all lurk within these pages. Honor and destiny entwine, and the music of their motion is fire and magic and steel. The time of the prophecy has become. The dragon will rise. If the scrolls that summon the great Kami fall into the wrong hands, the world as we know it will end. Can a young Kitsune stand against the forces of evil? Perhaps, but she could not do it alone. Fox, Demon Hunter, Ronin, Samurai, Miko, all must work together if they are to sh if they are to save Iwagato. I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try and pronounce how she says goodbye because I probably will get it wrong. And so. But this sounds really good. I love stories like this and you know I love fantasy and it's like historical fantasy and so it's even better. And it's diverse. Even better better. More better. Because I don't know that's not right so even more better. <laughs> says absolute power can corrupt in the even the purest of hearts. Oh. This is on the bookmark. Awesome. Well that's it for this box. The book sounds fantastic, so that's really good. I love it when the book is good. Most of the time I can get over bad items, like art prints, when the book is really good. But I do enjoy the socks, because I love the socks, and I do enjoy the hand clutch. I think that's really cute, and it can slide in and out of bigger purses if you want to keep other things in it. So, I can deal with that. Let's see what we got up next for this month of November. Yep. Also, the um, Pride Edition... The pride cover is different than the regular cover, so. So the regular one is blue and we have like a pink version. Evie's boy has of course written so many amazing things, um, including, um, crap. Crap, 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 crap. American, what's it called? American. Oh my goodness, it's on my Kindle, I'm falling. Don't mind me, I'm unorganized. It's on my Kindle, hold on. Including, 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 American Street, see, told you American, including American Street. Um, so definitely check her out, support black authors, support, you know, if you wanna get your diverse book quota. Okay, so also the shadow, um, the shadow one of course is also a special edition cover. I like the red cover. I like red. And just like I said, if you like Shadow of the Fox, you know, read A Flame in the Mist by Renee Audier. See? I'm getting better at these recommendation things now that I read a lot more. I'm getting better at that. Of what you would like, you know, if this then that. Let's see. Next month, November theme is Rise from the Ashes. Um, it says, every November box will include an exclusive wax seal kit from Team Owl Crate. Um, it says, do you love inspiring stories about overcoming great odds and surviving no matter what? Do you love characters that want to root, that you want to root for every step of the way? Our November box is perfect for you. Our book picks is a harrowing tale of a girl kidnapped from her village and forced into a life of slavery at the royal palace. There she'll have to work together with the other girls under control of this vicious dictator and they'll need all their wits and strength to survive. We fell in love with this powerful, beautifully written story and diverse romance, and we know you will too. The book will be an exclusive signed edition and will also have exclusive end pages. Just a heads up, this book deals with some difficult topics. If you have any questions, please email us. This box will include a whole bunch of amazing goodies that will inspire you. Many are items we've never included before. We're excited to share that every box will include an exclusive wax seal kit that's truly one of the most unique boxes we've ever put together. Basically, they're putting hashtag trigger warning in their things which I understand some people are triggered by certain things due to their past and their history. I just don't feel like in life you need to have a trigger warning disclaimer because life is life and things are going to upset you. And I think people have to learn how to cope and deal with those things 
It could just be the paramedic in me who sees all walks of life all the time, especially working in a metro urban metropolitan environment filled with 300,000 calls a year that I've just seen a lot, if not it all. So, but I think it is smart of them to put it in their box so that way people will know that there are topics that will be discussed. They don't say which topics. They do not say which topics will be discussed because that will give the book away probably. But you know, they do warn you. So you can't say that they did not. Anyway, now it's time for the photo challenge. Here it is. I don't know how I feel about that pride and hot pink. Something about African American retelling and hot pink does not do it for me, but I'm gonna figure out a way to to figure that out. But I do love, sorry, the other, the other thing is the interview with the vendor, Bookworm Boutique, and I, I do love her items. Her items are great. I think I've bought at least one. Clutching Bookstore, TNT Strainer, Soft and Red and Black. Oh, sorry, I'm so, it looks like soft, but it's Shadow of the Fox. It's Soft Red and Black. I can do this. And Book Nerd, Sock Sunday. I have to take some of those pictures today because I'm at work. So, but anyway, that's this box. Um, not really lost in the bookstore e as much as I would think it'd be, um, except for the bookstore clutch and the book. You know, I don't, I don't know, socks store. I don't know. I guess if you're stuck in a comfy chair at Barnes and Nobles and you've got tea, there you go. But anyway, the box was fantastic. I actually do love a lot of these items because a lot of these items are useful and I like getting useful items in boxes or else it's just clutter. So I am actually excited for this box and I can't wait to read these books. They are high on my list. So that's it for me. Don't forget to follow me on all the social medias and all the social networks. And until next time, keep turning the pages. <laughs>